The more sunshine, the better. It doesn't matter how fast they go, but instead how many laps they complete. Southern Illinois student Travis Perkins says this can be tricky. So if you want to go faster, you can, but you'll lose more energy. Or you can go slower, but if you go too slow, you'll lose too much. So it's a matter of just finding that right sweet spot on your motor to get around the track. Tonight, nearly a dozen solar-powered cars like these will compete at the Circuit of Americas. These teams have been preparing for the last few years and are hoping their cars will make the most laps. Charging. All of the cars must go through a rigorous three-day inspection. I mean, we had some trouble yesterday. And UT student Andrea Tosi says her team is working hard to ensure their car performs efficiently. This car has been under the design and work phase for two years now. Um, I just joined the team about a year ago, so we've been working on getting everything good to go. This is the first time these cars will compete on a Formula One race track. For Perkins, it's been a long time coming. Just countless hours, just basically having it consumed your life, my life for the last two years being a part of the team. Reporting for KXAN, Brooke Myers.